Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from the eastern land arrived in Jerusalem, asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and the teachers of religious law and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? The Messiah is to be born in Bethlehem, for this is what the prophet said. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judah. For a ruler will come to you, who will be the shepherd for my people of Israel. Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men, and he learned from them the time that the star would first appear. Then he told them, Go to Bethlehem and search for the child. When you find him, come and let me know where he is, so that I can also worship him. After this interview, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was, when they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chest and gave him gold and frankincense and myrrh. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route, for God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. After the wise men had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Morning, Joseph. Get up and go to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you to go. King Herod is going to try and kill baby Jesus, but you will be safe in Egypt. So go and stay there until I tell you to leave. That night, Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary, his mother. They stayed there until Herod's death. This fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet. I called my son out of Egypt. So as we heard from the story, King Herod was a king who didn't want anybody to take his throne. And when there was a sign that somebody was going to step into his throne, he would do all he could to stop that from happening. So when baby Jesus was born, he began to fear that Jesus was going to take the throne. So he tried to do something to stop that. So he went out on a search to kill baby Jesus. And now can you imagine what Joseph and Mary must have felt when they heard the angel tell them that King Herod was going to kill their baby? They must have been pretty scared. But instead of fearing, Mary and Joseph listened to what God said through the angel. They trusted God and they went on their way um, to a place of safety. So God sent down his angel uh, to talk to uh, Joseph in his dream and said to him, um, King Herod wants to try and kill baby Jesus, but I'm going to send you to a place of safety where I will protect you, I will care for you, I will look after you and make sure no harm comes to you. And the amazing thing is, boys and girls, is that God says that to you and he says it to me as well, that he wants to take care of us he wants to protect us and keep us safe, just like he did with baby Jesus, because no harm came to baby Jesus, because God was with him. And God is with you as well. He wants to protect you and keep you safe. We just need to trust him when things are a little bit scary, and we need to keep trusting in God. In Psalm 91, it says, He will command the angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. Just like God sent an angel down to speak to Joseph in his dreams, he surrounds you with angels to protect you. And straight after that verse, it says, because he loves you. Boys and girls, I want you to know this Christmas how loved you are by God. Even when you are scared, when you are afraid, when things uh, look a little bit tricky or confusing or you don't know what's going to happen. We just need to trust God because he loves us, he cares for us, he's with us and he promises to never leave us. Jesus' name is Emmanuel, which means God is with us. God is with us, boys and girls. 
And just like he was with baby Jesus when King Herod tried uh, to find him, he will protect us, he will keep us safe, and he will be everything that we need when we need him. So I'm going to end our time together by reading out the whole of Psalm 91. And what I would love you to do is to just close your eyes and open up your hands. And you might want to say these words in your heart as I speak them as a prayer and a declaration to God our Father. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust in him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers and he will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armour and your protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors at night, nor the arrows that fly by day. Do not dread the disease that stalk, uh, stalks in the darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord uh, your refuge, if you make the most high your shelter, no evil will come to you. No plague will come near your home. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Boys and girls, I pray that you have an amazing, amazing, amazing Christmas this year, knowing that uh, Jesus, Emmanuel, God is with you. See you later, guys. Bye. Hey, City Gates kids, it's so good to be with you.